Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I hope that you all are fine. Chapter number 4 Factorization HCF and LCM. Today's topic is LCM by the division method. First, we will see the recap of the last lecture. Number 1 LCM by prime factorization method. Answer the LCM of two or more numbers can be obtained by finding out their prime factors. Number 2. LCM of 12, 16 and 20. So the LCM is 240. You can understand with the help of solution. Now we are moving towards today's topic. Here is a question, why do we use LCM by the division method? So the answer is, finding the LCM of two or more numbers by prime factorization needs a lot of calculation. So a simpler method known as the division method is used. Anyhow, step 1. Choose a divisor which divides exactly at least two of the given numbers. Step 2. Carry forward the remaining numbers not divisible by the divisor in a row below the original numbers. Step 3. Continue the process until no two numbers are available for further division. Step 4. The product of the divisors and the remaining undivided numbers is the required LCM. Don't worry, I will define all the steps through example. Example is here. Find the LCM of 20, 24 and 45 by the division method. Look at step 1. Choose a divisor. So divisor is 2 which divides exactly at least two of the given numbers which are 20 and 24 is divisible by 2 then step 2 carry forward the remaining numbers not divisible by the divisor in a row below the original numbers at this step 5 3 and 45 are not divisible by 2. Step 3. Continue the process until no two numbers are available for further division. It means at this step further division is not available. Step 4. The product of the divisors and the remaining undivided numbers is the required LCM like 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 5 multiply by 1 multiply by 1 and multiply by 1 finally the lcm is 360 after that its activity and home assignment time calculate the lcm of the following numbers by the method of division number 1 45 and 50 number 2 14 21 and 56 you have to follow the previous given steps to find out the LCM of these values and you have to solve these values in your notebook for reinforcement now recapitulation question number one which topic have we discussed we have discussed the topic LCM by the division method question number two how can we find LCM by division method answer 
we can find lcm by division method with the help of four steps which are given below question number 3 give an example of it now you can watch the example i hope that you have understood today's lecture thank you for watching take care allah hafiz